Oh, hey everybody. Hey, I was just uh, making up another video. Some of you are going to hate this and some of you are going to like it. But it depends on how much you depend on your security that Microsoft gives you on your, your computer and your files. Uh, I'm going to show you how to create a user account, how to set your password, and set your, your documents and your files to private. So if somebody else logs on to that same computer in a different user account, they're not supposed to be able to see your documents and your settings and all that. But is it really secure? We'll find out. No, I haven't made a video in a long time. Well, a couple weeks, but I have been extremely busy. And I've been trying to keep up with all your, your messages and your emails and your comments. And I try to get back to everybody. But if I haven't got back to you in a while, you might have to send me a reminder because I do handle a lot of complaints and questions in a single day. So if I, if I haven't got back with you in a while, I know I, know I said I was going to make a few different videos and I'm working on them, but uh, they're coming. And see the, the video behind this one is going to show you how to access your hard drive on another computer because a lot of people lately have been having problems with the blue screens and not being able to get into their system and most of the time it's because your operating system is corrupt and the only way to fix that is to put your hard drive in another computer and uh, access your files that way and if you do have to format your hard drive and you can't access your computer you want to be able to save your documents so the next video coming behind this one will show you how to do that and this is something that could happen when you put your hard drive in another computer if you've got a password on it this is going to show you how to access those folders regardless of that password so enjoy the video and I'll talk to you guys later okay you've created your new account go into start control panel user accounts and from here you can change an account create a new account or change the way users log on and off. Usually if you've got more than one user you want to use this option here and the welcome screen. First time you log into that account it'll give you the option to create a password. So we're going to go to my account. We're going to create a password. You can enter a uh, password hint if you like if you think you'll forget your password but you don't have to create password now I've already created a password for this account so it's not giving me the option but usually it'll show up right in here before you get to this screen and it'll ask you if you want to make your folders private and that's so nobody else can log into the computer and view your folders and you would probably want to do that but is it really safe well let's see Okay, I've logged into my other account, which is Betaflux 2. I'm going to go to my computer, explore. Your computer might be in the start menu, like here. And go to your C drive, documents and settings, and you see all your users. You got Dave Temp. It says access is denied. Dave Temp is not accessible. That's because I made that with a password and I made it private. So nobody can get into my documents. Or can they? Well, let's find out. We'll go to Tools, Folder Options, click on the View tab, scroll all the way down to the bottom, take the check mark off of Use Simple File Sharing, hit Apply, and OK. As you can see, we still can't access the folder. But if you right-click on that folder, go to Properties, click on Security. You see Dave Temp has permissions, full permissions over that folder. System users don't have special permissions. So we're going to add, type in your username, check names okay and it found that username click OK 
give it full control hit apply OK and now you can access that once secured folder.